Hey guys, it's been a while, but I wanted to make some Firebase tutorials because I've been using it for the last year or so on some iOS apps and it's been working out really well and I've learned a lot of cool things. Um, Firebase has added a ton of new features to their platform, uh, most notably cloud functions, and that's got to be the biggest one, so I really want to get into that as soon as I can. Um, but first, what I have here is just a really simple demo um, login screen and sign up screen. It's not plugged into Firebase yet, so we're going to fill it out with some code so that users can sign into our app. And we'll do that in this video, and then maybe we can get into some other stuff down the road. So this code is on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description box below. And so to download this, then start there, or you can just follow along with your own project. So there's just a few screens here in the project, and we have an initial view controller, which is blank. We have this menu screen with the login and sign up buttons. And if we click login, it brings us to the login page with an email and password field. And if we click the sign up uh, button, we go to the sign up page which has a username, email, and password. So every user is going to have a username, an email, and a password. So if we tried to sign up right now, it wouldn't do anything because it's not connected to Firebase. So we need to do that step right now. So let's create a new project here. Um, let's just call it uh, Firebase Demo. Doesn't really matter, but I'm going to say I'm in Canada. And we're going to click on Add Firebase to your iOS app. And we need the bundle ID of this app. So that's this. Don't need to worry about these fields. Register app. And we need to download this file. Once we have our plist file, we need to add it to our project. And normally what I would do is just um, take it and drag it right in. But for whatever reason, that specifically causes a crash. So instead, what you have to do is um, just right click the project folder here and add files to Firebase demo and just find the plist file. And there we go. So that works for whatever reason. Now, when we launch it, we should see a few. Um, Printouts that Firebase is working properly. There we are. Looks good. Firebase Analytics started and everything here looks all right. So now let's add the code so that when we uh, actually not log in, when we sign up, that we actually create a user account. So the first thing we want to do in our sign up view controller is import Firebase. And then I have a function called handle sign up, which is called whenever someone taps, whenever the user taps to the continue button, if the username, email and password um, are filled out. So what we're going to type here is auth, get the auth object for this app, and then create user. So we put the email in the email field, the password in the password field. And actually, I'm just going to make it a closure here. So this completion is going to look like this. It returns a user object and an error. And if the error is nil and the user object isn't nil, then we know everything worked out well. Um, don't think there's actually an error there. And we'll just say uh, user created. And if there is an error, we want to print out the error so we know what the problem is. So if we go to sign up and we type this out, simple 
password. Well, actually, see, we, we got an error. Uh, the given sign in provider is disabled for this Firebase project. Okay, so what we need to do is go over to our Firebase console and go to the authentication section here and go to the sign in method. So, all of these sign in methods are actually disabled right now. You have to enable each of them uh, individually. So, email and password, phone, Google, Facebook, Twitter, anonymous. So, all we want right now is the email and password. We just click this, enable, save, and we're good. So, if we try that again, we should have better luck. User created, all right, nice. So if we, if we check out the users, we'll see that we have replicochannel at gmail.com created at this date, and this is the user ID. Cool, so we didn't actually use this username value here, and um, Firebase doesn't have a way of for creating an account with the display name at the first time. So we actually need to make a separate request here. I'm gonna call it change request. And I'm gonna get the current user and actually create profile change request. There we go. And in the change request, we just set the display name to the username. And then we wanna Commit those changes. And that just puts out an error. And once again, if the error is nil, then we know everything's fine. Um, we can say user created or user display name changed. And again, we have we have a bunch of errors here. We're just going to assume everything's going well, but uh, in a real application, you'd want to have some fallbacks and handle those errors more uh, in a better way. So let's make our account one more time. Username, display name changed, so that means everything went well. Let's give it a refresh on this page. And well, we actually can't see the display name here, anyways, but uh, it's good to know that it's there <laughs> if we if we needed it. Um, from here, what I think I want to do is actually, if everything goes well and the user account is created, then I want to just dismiss back to the main screen. So in the menu screen, I want to say the view did appear. Then I want to check if the user auth object exists. So auth auth. So when we first arrived on the screen when we weren't authenticated this value here would be would be nil for sure. But if we've successfully created an account and we come back to the screen, then this user object will uh, will exist. And if that's the case, then oh, it looks like we didn't import Firebase here. Then I'm going to say um, self perform segue identifier to home screen. So that would be the home screen of our app itself. And I think I need to create that segue still, so. Right away we're logged in and the reason is because this auth object actually persists um, from our last session 
So as soon as the main view controller appeared, we instantly went to the logged in screen. So that's great, but we also need to test it in the login screen. So we're actually gonna need to uh, log out. So I'm gonna create a button here. Maybe I'll do a bar button item here at the top. And I'll just say, call it log out. And let's create a view controller for this screen because right now it's nothing. Home view controller. Let's get a subclass, the UI view controller. like filling these in. Okay. Of course we just need to connect it. Let's try typing this in. can try uh, writing the login code. So let's go to our login view controller, import Firebase, and it's gonna be really similar to the signup um, code, but just a little different. So let's go to the function handle sign-in. Uh, that's just the code again that handles this button click. And let's type auth, auth bracket bracket, and sign in with email, password, and with the completion. So put email, pass, and let's just do a closure like this. Okay, just a little bit cleaner. User error in. So if the error is nil and the user isn't, then we know we're good. And we will do self dismiss. That'll bring us back to the home screen, the menu screen. Otherwise, we're going to print out the error. And that should be about it. Let's give it a shot. So our login screen here. Let's type in the code channel. That was the email that I used to sign in. And I think I remember my password. <laughs> Click continue. And we're logged in. Sweet. So now we're good to go. We can keep doing that. Let's just try one more time with a fresh start. We logged out. Sign up view controller. Uh, username is Rick Sanchez. Uh, email picklerick. Gmail.com. There we go. So we signed up. Logged in. Log back out. Go to the login. Pickle Rick gmail.com there we go nice logged in all right so the code isn't perfect right now it's a little bit buggy probably um, we could definitely handle a few more errors and we'll do that in the next video